So Kling AI just dropped their elements feature and this is super useful. Using this feature you can create multiple AI characters in AI videos and not just the characters you can even create the consistent environments, you can create the consistent clothing and you can even use this AI tool to create the advertisements of your brand. So I'm very excited, let's dive in. So first of all head over to the Kling AI's website and then on the left side you can see we have the AI videos and we have the new option elements. So click on that and now you can see we have the new option called Kling elements. We also have the effects option that we're going to discuss in another video. So these effects are just similar to the P collabs and inside of the elements you can see we have the option to upload the four different images. And how does it work? Let's say I have this image of a person, then I have this image of a bike and then I have this image of a highway. So I'll use all of these images to create a one single scene. So in the prompt section make sure to define what you want as an output. So I'm gonna use this prompt a man riding a green bike on a rushy highway. So I have clearly defined all three elements and now hit generate. Alright so this is the output video and now you can see the character is consistent. This is the same character we have the same bike and we have almost the same highway it just uh, get the inspiration from the initial image and generated the almost similar environment around it and i think the ai misunderstood this uh, rishi highway uh, through the rainy highway because you can see the some kind of rain in the video but other than that if we look at the consistency only and if we talk about the coherence the character is consistent we have the same bike we have almost the similar environment so this is super impressive next up i used only two elements so here i have our famous elf lady and then i used this sword image and in the prompt section i mentioned an elf woman picking up a magical sword and this is the output video and to be honest i don't have any complaints from this video you can see the movement the character consistency you can see the sword is almost similar because in our initial image the sword was on the top of our stone and now the woman is picking it up and if we look at the environment around it, you can see the AI automatically detected the environment and took the environment from the sword image and put that environment into the video. Next up, I use the three elements again. Here you can see I have this image of an old man, then I have this colorful beaker and we have this old lab. And remember this image because this will impact our video a lot. And I entered a prompt, an old scientist holding a magical beaker in his lab. And look at this output. Isn't it impressive? Not just the main character is consistent, you can see the colorful beaker. It also added and kept those elements that was initially available in our image. And look at the environment around it. Just look at the background, the lab. This is exactly matching with our input image. If you look at the shelves and if you look at this closely, this is exactly matching the input image. And here I have one more video where we have this Harry Potter kind of character. And then I used this book and in the prompt section I just entered a very simple prompt, a man picking up a book. And look at this output. Yes, initially we have some kind of morphing around the hands which is very acceptable with the AI but I hope we can fix this thing by just regenerating this video. But look at the book, this is the exact same book, it captured the every single detail from the input image and look at that. This is the exact same book and if we look at the character the character is exactly the same. So this is not just following the character, this is not just keeping the character consistent but also keeping the elements very very consistent. So all of these videos were generated with the single character but what if we add the multiple characters in it. So here I have this output. So this is the first character, this is the second character and this is the environment just to give it a context and the prompt was an adventurous couple holding a fire stick searching in a cave, expressive face, looking curious and scared. And look at this output. Amazing. Just look at that. It's looking more like an uncharted video game scene. So not just with the single character, but this new element feature also works very well with the multiple characters. And here is the one more example with two characters in the video, a couple walking on a street and it managed to keep both of these characters very consistent. So we have tried a single character with some elements and two characters and what if we increase the number of characters so here I have used three different characters and in this one the things are not okay you can see the middle character is not looking exactly the same so for the reference here is the image of the middle character and this is the output so this is not matching the middle character so it works really good with the two characters but the things are messed up when you use more than two characters and after all pushing the boundaries and pushing the limits, I tested the four characters and here is the output. 
with the four characters and obviously this is a complete mess none of the character is consistent it just changed all of their facial features someone is you know wearing a ponytail someone is doing so things are just messed up so it's okay to use the two characters in the images at the same time sometimes it works good with the three characters in a video but in most of the cases it's preferred to use the two characters and in case of the four characters you can see the video is just unusable and here is the one more video with the four characters and and none of the character is from the input image it just generated some random characters so it's preferred to use the two characters only so this was about the human characters what if we use the animal characters so here you can see i have this image of a polar bear then i have this image of a mouse and uh, then i just uploaded the jungle environment and in the prompt section i typed a white bear in a jungle with a cute mouse on his shoulder looking around and this is the output video obviously the bear character is consistent this is looking super cute but in case of the mouse it changed some of the features of the mouse you can see in the initial image the mouse ears are a little bit big and you can see there is a pointy nose but that thing is missing in this one and also we mentioned that the mouse is sitting on the shoulder of a bear but in the output video you can see the mouse is sitting on the head of this bear so it didn't follow the prompt accurately obviously the bear character is consistent this is okay but it just compromised with the prompt and also compromised with the mouse character and i re-ran that prompt and here is the one more output with the same prompt and with the same images and in this one you can see we have two mouse uh, in this one the mouse features are similar to our input image but you can see it added two mouse instead of a one mouse so it's kind of a hit or miss in few cases but so far it worked really well with the human characters well you can also use this AI tool for the product videos and the branding so here I use this image of a woman and I use this image with the Gucci logo and here is the output obviously our character is consistent but not just about the character it also kept the text and the shirt logo same and this is very impressive because most of the AI image generators mess up with the text but here is a trick to use this so if I click on our input image you can see I cropped a face a little bit so this was the initial image but then I just cropped the image and just focused on the face so that the AI doesn't get confused by the original outfit of this woman because I have already tried this thing with another lady where I used the full image and then the t-shirt image and also I mentioned in the prompt that a woman wearing a Gucci t-shirt but still it kept the original dressing from the original image and then I just cropped the face of the original woman but kept the t-shirt same but in this one you can see it added some kind of a weird collar to her neck because in the initial image if I click on that you can see the collar was visible a little bit so the AI was confused what to add and here's the one more example after reading that prompt but again it added that weird collar to her neck so it's better to crop the face if you want to get the best results so here's the one more output where i changed the t-shirt and kept the woman same and even though the pattern was very complicated in this one but still the ai managed to maintain that in all over the video then i tried testing something more complicated with four different elements we have our character then we have the leather jacket we have the environment and then i uploaded the nike shoes and in the prompt section you have to clearly mention what you want from your video otherwise the ai will generate some weird results so here i have the prompt a woman wearing a brown leather jacket and neon nike sneakers walking on a cyber city street and this is the output and this is impressive so i was very confused that if the ai can handle the shoes but at the end of the video you can see we have some slight morphing but we can ignore that and we can easily fix that by just regenerating the video but if we look at the elements the woman is wearing the leather jacket the environment is similar the impressive thing is that she's wearing the exact same shoes so if you're thinking that this was complicated the next output gonna blow your mind so here i have this image where you can see the patterns are very complicated you can see the mickey mouse character on her dress we also have the text in this one and then we also have some kind of prints and dots in this one and just look at the output it even captured that mouse character it added that text yes the bottoms are different because we didn't edit any bottoms in the input image but if you look at the shirt patterns it even handled this much complicated print very accurately now you might be thinking what about the cartoon characters so here i use this image of an old cartoon character and then i use this magnifying glass and in the prompt section i mentioned an old cartoon character looking through a magnifier and this is the output 
so not just about the human characters it can also handle the cartoon characters very accurately so this was a quick go through from this ai tool and i hope i have covered all of different things well there are a lot of different ways to use this element feature it depends on your creativity so that's it from today i hope you learned something new and if you guys did do give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one